Hi everybody, this is Diane. I'm finally getting to start a little bit on the 1940s journals. One will have more of a food theme. That's this pile, food and cooking. And one will have more of a, a fashion lady theme. Not necessarily fashion, but there will be some fashion, but uh, ladies, there will be ladies like her. It's not a fashion image. But, <clears throat> and I also have this pile that's just miscellaneous 50s or 40s. <coughs> so what I thought I would do today is just take some of these wonderful magazine images from 1940s magazines and make some ephemera. I don't know what we're going to make. I haven't really looked through things, but I'll probably probably be gluing pieces to cardstock. So I got out a whole pack of plain ivory colored cardstock and we're going to glue and maybe embellish. So let's just get started. I want to start with something from this pile and I really like this lady right here. So let's just start there. And I like this one too. I hope you're having a great day. I feel like I'm, I've been very busy for days and even a couple of weeks without accomplishing a whole lot. But I know I have accomplished a lot, but I haven't done much crafting. Um, I've been listing and selling, so that's an accomplishment. But last few days, because it's Memorial Weekend, it was, today is Tuesday, I was going to some sales and buying more stuff than I would on a normal flea market shopping trip just because it's that weekend and there's a lot more and I had opportunities to get some really good old stuff. I'm going to keep the words on there just for now. It shows that it's from the war era. This battle station is closer to the fighting front than you may think. I may not keep it on there. It's covering up that part that I'm going to cover anyway, so I guess it's okay. I went to, what did I do for sales? I went to what she calls the yard sale, but it's just a piece of property and I've talked about it where they have stuff set up and there's a lot of stuff and she buys lots and I guess cleans out houses and I'm not sure where she gets it all, but she gets a lot of paper stuff. And so I did that on Saturday and Sunday maybe I did that on Sunday I don't remember now but Monday yesterday we went to the stockyards flea market with my sister and my brother-in-law and got a lot of stuff there and she was there too the, the lady with the setup place <clears throat> she was there with more paper dolls and other stuff. But I got quite a bit of, of stuff there. And then today, she told me at the flea market, she told me that she was taking stuff to a big sale in, what'd she say, Madison. And I don't know where that is. Uh, I think it's in New, I guess it's in New York. I think she lives in Waverly, New York. But anyway, um, it's a big sale, a big flea market type of thing, and she sells pin sell furniture there. But she takes a lot of her paper stuff too, and she has a paper buyer up there. So anyway, she said they were going to be at their lot this morning, packing things up to go, and I could come, I could meet them there, and she would have the rest of the paper dolls. And these were the paper dolls I've been waiting for. 
So I met her up there and got paper dolls and magazines. Well, I have to go back and purchase the magazines. She set them aside for me. I ran out of money. All right, I'm going to start cutting these out. But, uh, a couple of books, too, from her. There were other things I wanted, but I just didn't have the money. And I've spent a lot this weekend. So it's just been busy, busy, busy. Then I come home and I do a video. I haven't done a video from today's stuff yet. But I do a video and, you know, make notes in my notebook of what I purchased and how much for tax purposes. Because I don't get receipts for any of this stuff. At flea markets, you don't get receipts. At least not these. You just hand over the cash. And, you know, then I have to kind of sort it and put some of it away and put some in the pile of stuff to go in my shop. So it all takes a lot of time. But it's been fun. I, I look forward to these big sale weekends. So I'll have to do a lot of processing and selling before July 4th weekend. So this could be a journal card in a pocket, or it could be a pocket. And this could be a cute little tuck spot. And this could be a tuck spot. There's my little scissors. bit of embellishing stuff like Rick Rack. And I also got these out of my stash. Now this says 1966, but they look like they could be from the 40s. And I'm not sure when these, how old these are, but they're probably about the same. But again, they look like they could be from the 40s. So I got those out to use if I needed them. I think I want something pretty around her. Let me get out my dies. It's a pretty dull illustration, color-wise. So we need to perk it up a little bit. So I'm going to see if I have a circle that would cut something that's a little too small. Yeah. I could probably do it with my Cricut because you can adjust the size on that. Those are all too small. could use something like that. It's that tattered doily or a distressed doily from Sam Pool. Maybe. Oh, a doily. Like this doily. That might work. I don't even, I, I guess I have used this. I got this on clearance from Hobby Lobby. Even on clearance it was $12. I haven't used it yet. So this would still be on the edge of the page. So I could move the doily down like that. I think that would work. I might do that. Cut that out of a colored paper. Uh, colored cardstock so it'll be nice and sturdy. 
and then that would be a tuck spot. I'm not going to do it right this minute. Or maybe I should, because, you know, we're here to make ephemera pieces. It's nice that my big shot is right here in this room now. I really want to show you how I rearrange, but I'm not ready to do that yet. Put the dryer sheet down. Move my tripod a little bit. It doesn't really work well having these papers on there. We want to slip and slide. I guess I didn't need both shims. That was tough. Oh, and it didn't even, oh, let me see. It didn't cut it out. Yeah, it did, okay. Most of the little pieces, all of the little pieces, stuck to the dryer sheet. Awesome. Okay, let me, I know I bumped you. I broke the little handle on my tripod that makes it go up and down. I don't adjust that often, but you know, sometimes I need to. And it probably, the tr tripod probably fell over one too many times because it just, the, that handle just fell off the other day. And I wasn't even using it to move the camera up and down. I just kind of touched it as I was moving the tripod and it just came off in my hand. So that, I think, will be a pretty tuck spot. And I can add a little bit of lace. She's washing vegetables and I don't want to cover that up. And maybe a little rickrack. Looking to see if I have turquoise rickrack. I have blue. I did print some digital pages, but I think I want to just kind of go through all of these magazine things that I have and make as much as I can with that. And if I don't use all of the digital stuff, that's fine, because I really want to use the real stuff. Boy, this is just tearing into little pieces. There we go. I wonder if I want to cut some of that so things don't don't catch in that. They'll be glued down. I don't know. Got some rickrack there and a little piece of lace. Maybe maybe the lace down here. Little 
called Daisy. I like the Daisy. I'm going to put glue all over this and I know the glue will seep through the holes of the doily but I'll flip it over and let it dry. I want to do it with this side up just to make sure I line it up the way I want it. And then I can flip it over, let it dry. Okay, that's good. And then I will come back and add my little pieces. I would like to leave that on there if possible. The journals are on the larger side. Kind of shoot it up. And I think this could be a journal card. I, that's what I'll use it for. Let me, let me see my book cover. It's going to go in this book. I might want to trim it a little bit on the edge. See if I can do it without chewing it up. This old magazine paper doesn't like being cut by a rotary cutter. This one isn't rotary, but it's a slider cutter. You know what I mean. That worked. And I think that'll just shave off enough that it will fit comfortably in a pocket. <clears throat> I went on an excursion with my sister and her husband and they have a mini Winnebago that they like to go on trips with. And this was going to be a day trip up to Lake Ontario at Sodus Point, which is just a straight shot north from where they live in Elmira. I wish that didn't get all dug up there, but it's okay. But he had um, done something to the brakes. like. Uh, change the brake pads and something else and lubricated it a lot and it started smoking. We'd, we'd been driving for a while and it started smoking a lot and it smelled really bad, like hot and like rubber. So he wasn't sure if it was just a lubricant burning off and um, the brake pads 
like getting adjusted to size, like rubbing to, to fit properly. But he didn't want to take a chance. They're driving it up to Alexandria Bay for in two weeks for their daughter's wedding. And so we stopped in Watkins Glen to check it out. And we decided to just hang out there. We drove a little further. And then the one brake pad, the one side of brakes that was smoking, that didn't that was fine as we drove a little further, but then the other one started smelling and smoking a little bit, not as bad. But the first one was fine, so that made him really think it was just stuff burning off and everything was fine. Um, but again, didn't want to take a chance. So we came back down to Watkins Glen and parked there and had a good day at Watkins Glen. We walked along the lake and then we walked around town and went into some shops. Oh, I should show you what I got. Not in this video because I don't want to go get it, but I got vintage salt and pepper shakers. I think I need to use one of these. It's not perforated. So I was gone all day on Memorial Day doing that. No, but oh, that was the day before Memorial Day. That was Sunday. Then I went to a cookout with my son and his wife on Memorial Day, but that was later in the day. Went to the flea market in the morning with the same sister and brother-in-law and then that cookout in the evening. So it's just been very, very busy. That doesn't even show up enough. Maybe I'll do a little gathered ruffle on this edge and put paprika over there, but I'll do that with my sewing machine. Rick here. Things shouldn't get caught in there because it's all glued down. rack there. I just love the look of those colorful Stokely vegetable labels in her cupboard. And the ketchup bottle. There's something about a stocked, a neatly stocked pantry or cupboard that just makes me happy. If you ever saw the Tupperware magazine catalogs that have all the pantry items stored in Tupperware that match, all lined up neatly. I love those. Look at this. That's a cool image. I 
think that there's another piece that was with this, like on the other page of this magazine. I think there's a piece of it in here somewhere. I don't see it right off the bat. more minutes so I'm going to switch over to the fashion pages. I could spend a week just making ephemera out of all of this stuff and whatever I don't use in these journals I could set aside for other journals. There's so much stuff here. aside and look at the, the fashion ones. Now that would make a cute pocket. This book is slightly bigger. show you the images I was thinking about to put on the cover. This one has a nice title and image on it, and I'll put something on it probably, but this one is just a plain tan color. That's the back. It's got that mark on it. I've got to try to get off. It's not a mark. It's paper stuck to it, but it's just this. And so I was thinking about her and she's gardening, so it's not really fashion, but I wanted it to be like vintage ladies, so it doesn't have to be fashion on the front. This one goes well with the color. She's an illustration from a story in an old magazine. But I think I wanted it to be brighter, represent some brighter colors. This isn't very bright, and I might paint that, or just put a pretty, scrapbook paper, digital paper behind her, because I think I like this. What do you think? I think I like her, and then I would have room to put a title or book plate or something up there. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, this is the size of the book. It's a little bit bigger. So, I have, I wrote down that I want the pages to be six and a half inches. So I would just have to maybe just cut that thing off. That's a toaster. And that might fit as a tuck spot on a page. on a nice brightly colored page because it's a black and white image. What did you all do for the for Memorial Day if you live in the United States? daughter took her 12 year old to the Syracuse Zoo to see the twin baby elephants. He is an animal lover. He loves animals of all kinds. He's very fond of dogs and it's rare to have baby, uh, twin elephants born in captivity according to what she said. She probably read that on their zoo website or something. And I like elephants. She likes elephants. 
and so they got to go to the zoo and see the elephants and she put a lot of pictures on Facebook. They are adorable. Of course, there were lots of other animals for him to enjoy. He's getting so big. He's, oh, he's taller than me now, but I said that to my brother and his wife when I visited them. We're asking about the kids, and I said, you know, they wanted to know how t how old Teddy was, and I said he's 12, and because I hadn't seen them in a, in a while, I said he's taller than me, and they didn't really respond until uh, my sister-in-law said, "Well, that's you know, you're not very tall." <laughs> oh, well, that is true, but still. It's something when your 12-year-old pass, 12-year-old grandson passes you in height. He's been waiting for that for a long time. He kept standing up next to me and saying, "I think I'm taller than you. I'm getting taller." I said, "You're not taller than me." But now he really can say that. So well, that's a nice tuck spot and I don't think it needs anything. It's a busy picture and I will put it on a colored paper. I like her. <laughs> She's silly. Let's do a colored one. This is from the cover of a Vogue Christmas catalog. It's a magazine but it was like a gift Christmas gift issue. So it wasn't like a really good Vogue fashion book. But it was 1940 Vogue. I think it would look better just to cut it there. Cutting around profile faces and fingers. You could do one, one little tiny snip wrong and you change the whole profile. Or cut off a fingertip. She has ostrich feathers in her hair some kind of feathers.
we have two tuck spots for the fashion book. What else do we have here? She could make a cute tag. I think she's from the 40s. Yeah, they look like 40s. It's a tall book. Um, nine and three quarters inches are going to be the pages. So maybe eight inches could work for a tag. So which part do I want to cut off? This? I'd still cut it down to here. Or These should be in the miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, those are the miscellaneous pieces. Definitely make something with them. Let's focus on this. This is how I've been lately. I'm so scattered. I do a little bit of this and then I do a little bit of that and I really feel like I'm not accomplishing anything in any one area. I did do some prep for putting things in my shop this morning. They're bundled and I did a video. I took pictures of a few of the listings. And then I started doing this. So I wanted to do a video before it got dark. And I have to make a phone call that I don't know how long it'll take. One of those phone calls that you could be on hold for a while while they check on this or check on that. That's the way it's been lately. Something that should have been settled. I have actually several phone calls to make. But I'm only going to do one a day. I've been putting them off too long. I hate doing I hate phone calls. Um, but it should have been all taken care of by now for all of them, but you know, things never go the way they're supposed to. Just wanted to neaten up that line. Just round the corners. to that glue. There it is. I pulled some scrapbook paper and some dyed papers and shelf liner paper, the kind that has the big wide white part on it. thought that would be fun. I haven't started cutting the papers to size, but I do have some pulled. Maybe I can do that tomorrow. I was planning on going to Horseheads today, 
I have several stores to go to up there, and I, I put it off week after week after week after week. So I had figured I, I'll go today, on Tuesday. But my legs are so sore from all the stuff we did this weekend. Walking around the lake, we were walking on, not around the lake, but along the lake. It's a big lake. Can't walk around it. Um, we were walking on big, like they had built up the shore and there were giant rocks that you walked on. They were level for the most part, but you know, not completely level. Anyway, I guess that's why my legs are sore. My calves. This says Orange Made Frocks. That's just the name of, of that dress company. So that dress isn't necessarily orange, but maybe I could find an orange scrap of fabric that looks like it could be in the 40s. Oh, how about this? This is Speedsack fabric. So I decided not to go to Horseheads today. Maybe I'll go Thursday. <laughs> I don't know why not tomorrow, but... If, if I could go with somebody, I would go. I just don't like going by... I used to like going by myself, but... I don't like to anymore. Once I get up there, I'm in a hurry to get back on the road to get home. There we go. We are just about out of time here so let's look at what we did for the fashion journal we have a long tag and if I have to trim it off I can once the pages are done and I know exactly how that'll fit and a tuck spot here and a tuck spot there and for the food and cooking journal we did this tuck spot and this tuck spot and this almost did this journal card. I just have to do a little sewing on it and that'll be done. So I'll finish this before I go make my phone call. Just so I don't have to, I don't want to have an unfinished project lying here. So I, this is a start. This is just a very beginning start to these 1940s journal. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. If you have magazine images whether old or new or book images i hope this inspired you to get them out and play around just look at your images and see what can i do with this and then play around do something have fun be creative and with that i will tell you goodbye and i will see you in the next video bye